What's up guys, my name is Harshal Mavani and in this video we will continue with the inheritance topic and we take a look at constructors and the super keyword. All of this with new colors and in 5 minutes. So let's get started. Now you can have an interview question like this. Determine the output of this particular code. So we have a parent class, a child class, parent constructor and a child constructor. I have my main class which is as usual separated from all of the above confusion and of course the main class has the main function. Inside the main function there's nothing fancy just inside the main function I have simply instantiated the child object. So I have child c is equal to new child. Now determine the output. So let's have a look what will happen is it will go over here in this constructor that is the child constructor and I'm expecting the output to be in child constructor. But is that the case? Well, if it was so easy, but I obviously have a look what is happening over here. I've compiled my program and when I run it, I have in parent constructor and in child constructor. So what just happened? This particular statement when executed came over here. The child constructor was executed. And before that, the output suggests that the parent constructor was executed after which the child constructor was executed. So can I say that I have some invisible call over here? Let's just write an invisible call to the super class constructor. So what exactly is this invisible call? Now this invisible call is nothing but your super keyword in action. So it looks like this. You have nothing but a super call present over here. What does the super do? The super will cascade this call, will throw up this call from this particular constructor, from this particular level to one level up and hence the call reaches over here. So this particular keyword, the super keyword is responsible for cascading your call in the upward direction. Now, recall inheritance. When I say that a class inherits from another class, let's say class B inherits from class A, that is a scenario like this. I have, I have class A and class B extends, class B extends A. I know that all of the public and protected fields of A are now in B. But what about the constructors? So we have our another interview question. What happens to the constructors? Are they inherited as well? The answer is no. Now the constructors are not fields of a class. They are something related. They are something which carry out a particular task of let's say memory allocation and also you can the answer is no constructors are not inherited. They are not member fields as we constructors are not members of classes and only members are inherited. So no, you cannot inherit a constructor. That is, you cannot create an instance of a subclass using a constructor of one of its superclasses. What about parameterized constructors and the super keyword? Let's have a look. 